Today is the big day. 100 years ago today, on November 25th, 1915, Albert Einstein lectures at the Prussian Academy for the fourth time in four weeks. And this time, he's able to stand proudly in front of the assembled crowd and announce to them and to the world that he had finally completed the equations of the general theory of relativity. And the equations that he announced that day, they're quite beautiful. Here they are. These are known as the Einstein field equations. The left side here describes geometry, warps and curves in space and time. This is known as the metric tensor, the scalar curvature, the Ricci tensor. The right-hand side, this describes the stuff in a region of space, moving through a region. This is known as the stress energy tensor, and it describes all of the matter and energy within the environment. And the equality between the two embodies the heart of Einstein's idea, that matter and energy warps the fabric of space and time. And when you supplement that with a little equation over here that describes what are known as geodesics, roughly speaking, the shortest possible trajectory through a warped region of space and time, these equations together allow you to determine how an object will move through a curved environment, in essence, Einstein's version of how an object moves under the force of gravity. And the picture that you get is really quite wonderful. Einstein is telling us that the Earth, the Moon, the Sun, they all warp the space-time environment. We're only showing the warping of space right here. But then any other object that's moving through this environment, it gets nudged around by the warps and curves. In essence, that is how gravity is communicated from one place to another. Warps and curves that then influence the motion of another body that's moving by. Now this was a triumph, right? This is what Einstein was working toward for almost a decade. And finally, on November 25th, 1915, he could announce to the world that he has this new understanding of the force of gravity. What about Einstein's competitor, David Hilbert? Well, David Hilbert came up with his own version of the equations, usually expressed in this mathematical form. But in the published paper in which Hilbert gave this equation to the world, Hilbert made it abundantly clear that he believed that Albert Einstein deserved credit for the discovery of the general theory of relativity. A wonderfully magnanimous conclusion to this competitive spirit that drove these two monumental minds toward the final form of the general theory of relativity. But even so, Hilbert does get some credit. This equation is known in the scientific literature as the Einstein-Hilbert action. So this equation right here, this captures Hilbert's contribution to the discovery of the general theory of relativity. But regardless of which equation you use, the final picture, well, it's just beautiful, it's just wonderful. Einstein, Hilbert, they're telling us that gravity is communicated by the shape of the universe, warps and curves in space and time. This is the heart of the new picture of how gravity works. This is the heart of the general theory of relativity.